guys. What's going on? Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to Istanbul, Turkey. Yes, today we are actually enjoying some coffee at Gloria Jeans. All right, today we are taking you on a mosque trip. We're going to go visit two of the oldest and famous mosques in Turkey, and they are Hagia Sophia and, and the Blue Mosque. And the Blue Mosque. So these two mosques, especially the first mosque, is one of uh, architectural favorites because this mosque is like a blueprint of what other mosques should look like. Um, yeah, they're, these are like, I think, believe they're like the oldest mosques. They're like, one of them was built in like 500, it's like I think the 6th century. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. like, and then there was like a baby one, I think the Sophia, the Hagia Sophia was like the first one. Now it's kind of like the prototype, and then they eventually built the uh, the blue mosque. So know. yeah, so for all you architectural buffs, you should come with us because this should be beautiful. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna walk down the street. We're gonna go a different route today. We're gonna take you uh, through some city parks, and uh, we're gonna show you around. Yep, we're gonna show you around Istanbul. So come with us. Deuces. <laughs> So of course, one of the things that we have to do before we go into the mosque is cover our heads. Well, women, at least Faustino doesn't have to cover his. finished with the little Sophia and we are on our way to the bigger one I think it's about a 15 minute walk when you first walk in it looks smaller on the outside than it actually yeah. is and I guess because of the octagon shaped roof it makes it seem so much larger in the inside yeah that, that place I'll let you know like I guess while you're walking through the I guess the streets of Istanbul in a day it, it seems pretty safe there's always shops uh, there's rug shops everywhere People are gonna to try to pull you in to buy everything. And not just in the tourist areas, basically everywhere and anywhere. We tried to get an early jump this morning, but we didn't. But these, it's 10 o'clock and there's like five tour buses already lined up. There are, and our host of our Airbnb told us that this would happen. So what we're gonna do if the line is too long is we'll probably get something to eat, wait it out, and, um, and yeah, try again. Because the thing is, they take a break at 11 o'clock. I wanna say 11 to one. They open back up for one and then I think they may close for five. So hopefully we can catch it before. Oh, that's a lot yeah, of people. I think it's to the left. Yeah, that was a lot of people just now. There's a bus getting ready to pass us. So we're gonna try to make it over. This is another bazaar actually that we're walking to. Okay. 
So we are on our way into the Blue Mosque and the line is about two hours long. But our friend <laughs> walked us. Not not the not, uh, middle door, it's another door. Okay, I'm waiting another one. Okay. okay. But our friend walked us all the way to the front, so here we are. <laughs> So we just made it into the Blue Mosque and it's beautiful. I will not tell a story. <laughs> it's amazing how they, they the, painted this, the, the, the architecture, the way they built this. That's what I was going to say, like the architecture is mind-blowing. It's really pretty. A um, massive column. Yeah, there are so many people here right now. So I definitely suggest that if you do come to Turkey and you want to visit the Blue Mosque, do it either early or late, like right before it closed. Because another guy that we met here, the guy that actually walked us to the front, told us that it's going to be busy all day. But if you wait until it's about to close, that's when the crowds are the thinnest. So. These crowds are thick. You, you gotta take your shoes off, and you can't put your shoes on the you carpet. Put your shoes you on could, the floor. There's a little shelf area you can put your shoes at. You can bring backpacks in. Um, it's, it's hard to get a picture or anything. It's like really massively crowded. Yeah, you can't wear any shorts. Uh, ladies must cover their heads. I see a couple guys. I see the guys wearing shorts. But so. you know what? I did see a guy in a, I don't know, maybe it's part of his culture. Because he had on like something long. Like a skirt. Like shirt, a skirt. skirt shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he had on like a skirt. But I do see the guys in shorts. Ladies definitely have to cover their heads. Uh, you can't show your chest, your back, your stomach, anything. So, uh, like Tanaj said earlier, like the guy, there were these lines were long outside. But what happened was one of the store owners kind of like just walked you. He walked us up to the front and was like, "Don't worry about it. They're just gonna think he's part of a, a tour." He just literally skipped everybody. Not saying that that's something that you guys should do. Right. But if someone, if someone wants to invite you to their store and he skips the line for you, then go to his store. So he's supposed to be waiting for us when we leave here. But this is, uh, the fact I don't, the fact that these colors are still, I'm they're assuming still they're original, yeah, the original colors. They're still vibrant. Um, I don't know if they repair it often, but it looks pristine, like yes. it really does. Like it was just built literally yesterday. It's just clean. It's just, yeah, it's pristine. So I think that um, I think that we're gonna wrap it up in here. Yeah, and we're gonna head over to the little Sophia. No, the big. The big one. Oh, we the big the Sophia. We did the little Sophia. Yeah, we're gonna head over yeah. to the big Sophia. And uh, probably, uh, I'm definitely thirsty. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Oh, wow. No, sir. This is my job, team building. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. It's also the end of this rooftop, I told you? Yeah. When you go there, you're going to see all this somewhere. I didn't get his name, so our friend invited us to his carpet shop, and it's right behind the Blue Mosque. So after we take a look at some of these carpets, which are all handmade carpets, we are going to, I think we're going to take a walk to the roof yes. so that we can see a better view of Istanbul and the Blue Mosque right. from a different angle. Uh, be prepared, like we just said, uh, you're going to get a lot of shops, owners to come and bring you to the shop after, you know, you're in these touristy areas. So we're going to take a look at some carpets. Um, drink we, some tea. Yeah, some we're going to drink some tea, which is, is something that uh, Turkish men and women offer you as soon as they meet you, either tea or coffee. I think that's how and the kitchen you, store. You cannot say no. say no to their tea or coffee. <clears throat> so we're going to sit here and we're going to have some apple tea, which I found that um, mm, I really like. Yes, yeah, better than I, I like it better than the Turkish tea. Turkish tea is like a coffee tea. It's strong. Well, I'm not going to say I like it better than Turkish really? tea while I'm sitting here in these Turkish... <laughs> no, but it's no, turkey but, apple tea. But I, I no, it's, no, it's just apple tea. Oh, it's just apple tea? Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so be ready. It, it, you know what it feels like? We used to do these when we were younger. Well, I guess we still are younger. But anyway, we used to do these... Uh, like timeshares. Timeshares. So it's basically kind of like a timeshare. Meeting. Meeting, yeah. Yeah, so... Let's 
see how long it lasts. <laughs> All right, guys. I know you're probably, we're probably going to get some comments on the fact that if you didn't intend on buying, why'd you go in the shop? Because, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Leave, leave a comment below. What are we supposed to do when someone is offering you their services and they giving you tea and they want you just to exchange to come to the shop? Like, what would you do? Do you just be ignorant and be like, nah, F you and just walk away? Or do you just accept it? Yeah. So, what do you do? Oh, here's our tea. Yeah. So we're currently we're about to, we need to eat some lunch. We spent literally the whole day in shops and at the Blue Mosque. Yeah, and it's, you uh, can tell it's windy. It's super windy out here right now. Expect that in Turkey. I don't know if maybe it's this time of year, but it is windy and it's not cold. So I don't think it's like a cold wind. Yeah, it's not. It's not cold at all. Uh, the weather is perfect. It's just uh, it's just a bit windy. But um, everywhere we go, there's a lot of people, which is I guess only to be expected. Like Turkey has so much to offer and so many amazing places to visit. And there's also a cruise ship that docked yesterday. We actually saw it docking in. So these are, it's probably even extra crowded with all those uh, people getting off that ship. Yeah. Uh, we're currently outside the Blue Mosque. You can probably see it behind us. And this is kind of like the palace area. And it, and it looks like three different, I, I'm not gonna, I don't know if they're mosques, but they're three different mosque shaped looking buildings and it's like a giant park out here. So we were gonna take you guys to the Hagiera Sophia, but uh, we realized once we got in line that the tickets for the museum, now it used to be a mosque, it was a mosque up until a year ago, and now it's a museum. So mosque you can get in free, museums you have to pay for. I didn't know what he was doing. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so museums you have to pay for, and it's like twenty-seven dollars to get into USD. Uh, yeah, twenty-seven dollars to get there, and we're and just we... gonna go and visit some of the mosques that are free. Yes. So uh, yeah, we'll see what else they have to offer, and we'll let you know what else you can enjoy here in Istanbul for free. <laughs> this is. Yes. Salt? What is it? Salt. Yes, please. Thank you so much. How much? Yes. It's really tough, you know? It's a wide angle. It's amazing. It captures both of you. How is it? It's really good. It's hot. You can stuff to my feet. Corn. I love corn. This is good. It's salty. It's cooked perfectly. So I guess I can hold off now because I was going to go and get something to eat. But I'll hold this until we get out of our... I think we're going to go and visit another mosque. So I don't know. I'll take you guys with us. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you this long ass line. I don't know what it's, it, it's either to get into a, pa a palace or a mosque, but it's super long. Let me show you. You see that's the end of the line. It keeps going and going. It actually goes that way. And then it's just like way, that, right, way over there. It's long. It's super long. So I just stopped and got a corn, which was delicious, I might add. But we are looking for some food. Now we just passed this potato stand. And when I tell y'all these potatoes, I, they're, they're big. Clearly I won't be able to finish one by myself. So let me show you how big they are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
tell you guys is that the food around the mosque is expensive way too expensive especially at like these uh they have these terrace hotels restaurants where they try to get you in there for the view and the view is beautiful the view is absolutely beautiful but what you end up doing is paying, paying for like, the view for the view it's like you, you end up paying like 20 dollars a meal when you can just go down to the neighborhood and get it for like uh, what is this like eight dollars versus a 20 dollar meal for the exact same meal we're here at uh Zenep, and it's a little neighborhood restaurant. We ordered a kebab plate for like 150 lira, and I think the cold drinks and the waters are like 50 lira. Yeah, it is. They are. And they are. uh, it's been a long day. It it's has been an extremely long day, and it's still not over. We have a surprise for you guys tonight, but we're probably gonna put that in the next video. So, we're actually gonna, uh, it's actually what time is it? It's actually almost two o'clock, and we're gonna end this mosque morning tour video here with you guys with our lunch and we're definitely going to show you guys something wonderful tonight like tonight was saying now what i will say about these kebabs is that they don't look like your traditional kebabs it looks like ground meat hamburger patties kind of yeah squished together elongated yeah I, I guess we we're used to something different kebabs being like a cube of meat and here it's like squished hamburger meat yeah so i don't know it looks good it smells really good it smells the price was pretty good and I know you guys hear us talking about price a lot but that's how we get to travel so often you have to make sure that you make your money stretch especially if you want to get a chance to see different places different countries or whatnot it would be absurd if we came down here and we spent all of our money then I mean like we wouldn't have anything to, to take do, to the next know? country I, I, yeah or, you know so I don't, I don't know I just don't think that we should be paying like $20 a meal at like a restaurant when you just go down the street and support like you know the little local uh, mom and pop shops for like the same for like eight dollars yeah know? so you guys will hear us talk about budget travel a lot because like i said that's how we get to the places that we get to um as far as this meal i am tearing the package open as i speak to you because uh yeah we're hungry so Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments and uh, we'll check them out. All right. We'll see you in the comments. Deuces. <laughs>